I absolutely hate vegetables, but I love shooting things. So today I'm going to prove to you that vegetables are actually deadly, especially when you sharpen and freeze them and shoot them at over 200 miles per hour. Plus, I got a couple tricks up my sleeve you won't want to miss. Good God. <laughs> I am sick and tired of these lies that Big Carrot has been putting out there about just how healthy their product is. If they're so good for you, why won't any of my animals even consider eating them? Look how Lucy just spits this out like the trash it is. See? No, Mikey, no, stop that. I'm trying to Come prove on. a point. Mikey. Well, Mikey's a dumpster, but look how Zaz shakes his head in disgust. But I knew it was more than just eating them that could cause problems. So I sharpened one up and attempted to assassinate my dogs in plain daylight. Does that hurt? Mikey will kill you too. <laughs> oh, Mikey, did you pee? What the heck? Mike. All right, so they might not be the best daggers, but I could easily imagine a child ending up with carrots plugging up every breathing hole and suffocating to death. I can still breathe just fine. Mike, what's your problem? So when that failed as well, I knew it was time to kick it up a notch. So I turned to the tried and true potato cannon. But man, was this a struggle. Clean some burrs off, some bill burrs. Yeah, that's in there. But because I'm imprecise and impatient, you can see a potential failure point that just might lead to my barrel exploding out when I try to shoot this thing. But that's future me's problem. Okay, what the hell is this? This isn't what I was... Expecting. Ah. I don't really know what I'm doing here. What is this stretchy thing? It's like got a vein. Oh, fuck. Okay. This should be our sparker here. Yeah, you see that? Okay, okay, chill. We see it. Jesus. Perfect. All right. Actually, never, never really looked in a lighter before. Look at that. I just gotta get this, uh, this out. Okay. Uh, solder it? Stay. Shit. All right, well. Soldering was a complete failure, so I just hot glued it. And yeah, I know what you're thinking, okay? Oh, what a hacky bit. But you know what I think? It's built for this. It's still kind of funny. I know you're not here to watch paint dry for like half an hour, so I'll catch you when it's done. Ah, big reveal, huh? Let's check it out. That's right, I made a carrot. And to test its lethality, I have some ballistics gel, a cantaloupe, a watermelon, and an orange. Now I just gotta find my ammunition I've been stockpiling around the house. Here's one of them. There's another one. I think I felt one more in there. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, why, why were you hiding that in your underwear drawer, man? Ah, well, whatever. That's your business. Sorry, shock. Four, I now got one more to find. Mm. <sighs> ah, that's why. <sighs> So next I need to fit the carrots to the pipe. So I made these little teeth 
to help grind them down to size. But even with it frozen and sharpened, I didn't know if it would be hard enough to pierce through skin. So I decided to make a sort of armor piercing tip out of melted sugar. And it looked like a, well, yeah, you know what it looks like. I hope this works. It feels like it could work. From what I could tell, the water content of the frozen carrot released when I dipped it in the molten sugar. And when that water mixed with the sugar, it made it unusable. So to fire it, you just unscrew the back, spray a little. Close her up. Come on, baby. I'm scared. I'm scared. I need to go outside. My theory is just using more hairspray, I guess, but I don't know. I noticed my barrel's like maybe twice as long than all the other ones I see online, so maybe it just won't work. For these maybe things like to work, it's really all about the air to fuel mixture. So if there's not enough or there's too much fuel, it's not gonna ignite. Sometimes you're just holding the big carrot and you want to give up, you know? Rather than beating a dead antelope, I thought I would actually modify my design and try again. Oh yeah. Ah! Aha! Aha! Big reveal. Again! I think it's a bad boy. We got a longer, much girthier barrel. And then we shorten our combustion chamber by about, mm, I don't know. Like a foot. And my new big bitch and barrel opened up all sorts of opportunities to see if these things could be deadly too. Sometimes when the hole's too small, you just gotta ram jam it through with a two by four, you know? Oh, that's wet. And with my freezer fully stocked of frozen vegetables, I could actually test this thing out again and See if it'll finally fire. Three, two, one. Shit, come on. <sighs> Damn it. Now after this failed for the second time, I was questioning everything. I had to see, was my hairspray even flammable? Like, I, I didn't know what the deal was, but this was supposed to be easy. <laughs> Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Well, back to the workbench. Again, my thing broke. This is just a mess, dude. This time around, it was the damn sparker that wasn't working anymore. So I finally shelled out for the $15 grill lighter and got those fat, fat arcs. Now this has to work. I mean, I can't tell you how frustrated. Damn it. Come on. Should I just scrap this? I mean, this is just getting embarrassing at this point. Oh! That one really took me by surprise there, but hey, now that it finally works, I can actually get shooting some stuff. So, we'll start out with this cantaloupe. <laughs> well, the tip of the carrot broke off, so it definitely hit something. <sighs> well, maybe the, uh, the carrot's a little soft, but I got a little trick up my sleeve. I call it the girthy carrot. I mean, it's orange, right? <laughs> Finally, it all worked out, dude. I was filming, I shot the thing, it hit the thing, and the thing bust. Hell yeah. 
I really hoped it would blow the whole thing apart, but honestly, it came out kind of weak. Tuck this back in there. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it did some real damage on the cantaloupe, so now we can upgrade to the watermelon, and let's see what happens. <laughs> Shit! I keep missing, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude. <laughs> Holy shit. How, why do I keep missing the damn thing? Well, we can try again. Hopefully we hit it this time. Oh my fucking god. Dude, the anxiety <laughs> that builds when this thing doesn't go off on the first trigger is just... Ugh, it's, uh. Finally got a successful slow-mo, and boy, oh boy, look at that penetration, baby. Oh my god, that um, took me by surprise. Yeah, look at this. This is what I wanted. Now that I've proven that it can really trash a watermelon, I had to see if it could actually penetrate some ballistics gel. Now, a raw carrot, again, doesn't do great, but I can't aim worth a shit. Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. This is my secret weapon. Sorry, while you weren't looking, I went ahead and made some uh, extra lethal ammunition. Because you never know when vegetables could uh, get a hold of a weapon, you know? Yes! Yes. Again, I was, I was having so many issues getting successful shots off that I was just stoked to get anything at this point. It's too low. Ah, it's like everything I try with this video. I can't hit the shot. I can't do this. I can't do that. So, anyway, this time I went ahead and set up a little side by side target to better my odds of at least hitting something. Because I was getting sick of. It. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. I think it's settled. Vegetables fucking suck, man. That's all. That's all. If you can shoot them and it explodes things, they're dangerous, right? Right. I, I know, I know. It's not the ending you're hoping for. We wanted that money shot just hitting the ballistic shell with the screw tip. We wanted to, to maybe shoot through that coconut or something. You're like, what happened to the coconut? I, Look, the coconut, it, it, it rotted, and and I knew if a carrot and these things are barely penetrating watermelons, what good is shooting a coconut going to do? And when I could barely hit a watermelon, I, I was just going to miss it every time. So what I am excited for is moving on to the next project, and if you watch this, if you enjoyed this at all, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe and meet me at the next one.